Listen to this excuse from Lord Marland on why Tory donor Frank Hester couldn't possibly be racist when he said Diane Abbott should be shot. He's an international businessman. He travels widely overseas. He deal, does a lot of business in Jamaica. He does business in Malaysia, uh, in Bangladesh and places like that. So he's not a racist. So because somebody travels, they can't be racist. What is he talking about? That doesn't mean anything. We don't know his relationship to these companies and people he deals with in these countries. He could be totally looking down his nose at them and treating them with disdain. Anyway, he went on to say this. Uh, he made some unfortunate remarks which do sound racist and quite rightly he's apologised for them. Let's just remind ourselves of what Frank Hester said. You see Diane Abbott on the TV and you're just like, I hate. You just want to hate all black women because she's there. And I don't hate all black women at all, but I think she should be shot. When a Tory donor says looking at Diane Abbott makes you want to hate all black women, that is a racist thing to say, isn't it? To remark that Diane Abbott should be shot. He said she should be shot. Mr Speaker, the Conservative Party have accepted a £10 million donation from an individual who has said that one of our parliamentary colleagues in this chamber should be shot. Mr Speaker, the man bankrolling the Prime Minister also said that the member for Hackney North should be shot. Let's just revisit that last statement from Lord Marland on Frank Hester's apology. And then we'll hear from Stephen Flynn why that apology wasn't good enough. Uh, he made some unfortunate remarks which do sound racist and quite rightly he's apologised for them. This is complete rubbish. The gentleman in question apologised for being rude. He wasn't rude. He was racist. He was odious. And he was downright bloody dangerous. Click here to see a video, hand the £10 million back. 